Viper Desai, pictured at an earlier hearing, walked free from court today. A High Court judge has ordered a jury to clear a chemist of murder after he gave his elderly father a lethal dose of morphine. Viper Desai, 59, walked free from court after hearing Mr. Justice Green praise his kindness and compassion over the death of 85-year-old father at their family home. He denied murdering his father but admitted assisting in a suicide and was allowed home with just a nine-month jail sentence suspended for nine months. The judge ruled that a murder trial involving Desai should be halted despite hearing how he helped his father end his life with a smoothie laced with stolen morphine. The jury had earlier heard how Desai poured the painkiller into a drink for his father, whose body was later found at their £1.2 million home in Farnham, Surrey. Desai checked on elderly derage Lal Desai five minutes after kissing him goodnight and then injected him with insulin as he slept, the jury had heard. The pharmacist was two weeks into a murder trial when Mr. Justice Green ruled that his father had wanted to die and instructed the jury to offer not guilty verdicts. The jury had already heard that Desai admitted assisting in a suicide and two charges of theft by an employee, relating to the insulin and morphine. Sentencing him, Mr. Justice Green described the theft as trivial and indicated that the sentencing was only for the assisted suicide. He said, in your mind that was part of your responsibilities as your father's carer, to perform this final act of assistance, kindness and compassion. He added, your acts of assistance were acts of pure compassion and mercy. Your father had a solid and firm wish to die. For him, being assisted to die would be fulfilling his wish of going to heaven to see his wife and being put out of his misery. The jury had earlier heard how Desai poured the painkiller into a drink for his father, whose body was later found at their £1.2 million home in Farnham, Surrey, pictured. He continued, the ripple effects of having been wrongfully accused of murder have been profound and extremely severe. He said, the thefts are trivial and only form part of the fabric of the wider case. The owner of the pharmacy said in his evidence that you were an honest, respectful and decent man. He cared not for the small bottle of concentrated morphine solution, or a morph or the small amount of insulin. He added, you are free to now go with your family and start the process of rebuilding your life. Speaking after being cleared of murder, Mr. Desai said, the past two years have been a time of immense stress for our entire family and it is huge relief that this ordeal is finally over. I have been greatly moved by the enormous support I have had from my family, friends, colleagues and neighbors, to whom I will always be grateful. We now want to start to put our lives back together and to grieve for my father, who we called Bar Puget. Desai was acquitted of murder after his defense barristers Natasha Wong QC and Michael Field argued that the prosecution case was so weak no reasonable jury could properly convict. The defense made their formal application at the close of the prosecution case on Tuesday but it can only be reported today for legal reasons.